anterior cruciate ligament is a, it's a rope, it's a ligament that goes from the femur to the tibia that stabilizes the knee. We initially thought it was front to back stabilization and then we have learned through more recent biomechanical studies that it controls rotation of the knee. And its role is most important with decelerating activities. 70% of ACL injuries are non-contact injuries. It's an athlete landing from a jump or changing direction. And the force put on the ligament for it ruptures it. And then they have a knee which is unstable, especially with sports that require side-to-side -side movements. The ACL ligament is unique in that it's in a hostile environment in the knee. You can't sew it together because it simply won't heal. Current standards of practice is to replace the anterior cruciate ligament with either a tendon from somewhere else in the body or from tissue from the tissue bank. It's very similar to receiving blood, but we use a tendon, it's called allograft, from the tissue bank to replace a torn anterior cruciate ligament. A good candidate for an ACL reconstruction would be a younger patient who's very physically active, involved in decelerating sports, and is not overweight or have other medical core morbidities. At the other end of the spectrum, if a 65-year-old were to be found to have a torn anterior cruciate ligament and they are not in decelerating sports and they have other health issues, they would be a very poor choice to have an ACL. You can do an ACL at any age. If someone is having painful instability, you can always do an ACL reconstruction. But most people in their 50s and 60s can make activity modification and not have sufficient problems to warrant a surgery that uh, is complex and it requires six months to rehabilitate from. We generally define success as returning to the same level of play as they were in before the injury. So whether it be at the high school or college level, success is returning to the same level of play. It does not preclude at all progressing to the next level and ACL surgeries have become so common in the United States and the techniques have become so refined that an ACL injury that was properly diagnosed and treated before other injuries occurred frequently is not an impairment to an athletic career.